how to promote Redbubble products on Pinterest. So hi guys, to get started, let's start off with Redbubble. So all we need to do is to sign in to our Redbubble account. What we are going to do here is we're going to create a listing. So here in the upper right hand corner, you just need to go to your account and click on sell your art. And before you can actually sell your art, make sure that you have successfully set up your account settings. All right, now let's click on sell your art. And basically what we're going to do next is to simply add our new work. All right, so here in the upper right hand corner, what we are going to do is to tap in add new work. Now, Redbubble is checking for our site connection. We just need to verify this one real quick. And by then, we can actually add our new work. So here you have two options, copy an existing work or upload our new work. So I'm going to click on upload new work right here. And after that, it will ask me to choose the file. So here, I'm gonna choose this artwork of mine that I have created using Canva. So there. And after that, you just need to input your title, the tags, and the description. So say for example, I'm gonna have this as um, Right Till Your Heart Bleeds. That would be my title right there. And then for the tag section, you these are like hashtags basically if you're posting on instagram or on facebook and let me show you how to add a tag here on redbubble so in order for you to add a tag basically all you need to do is to um type in the word so say for example digital uh, illustration or digital product and then after that you're gonna separate it through a comma and then add the next word or next tag and then let's have independent artists and then another um, comma and then women now next is you just need to input your description right here so in the description all you need to do is to simply um, input the story as to why you have created that artwork since you are in a platform where there are a lot of artists then your story would be very you know nice to see in the description below as to why you have created that one and now here in the background color you can actually change the background color if you would want to so you just need to drag to your desired color so say for example you want that specific kind of pink or you want to drag it down to a brown color then you can simply do that okay now here below we can actually edit our product listing say for example we want to enable our hat so just click on the disabled button and basically if you click on that one it will be enabled all right now let's edit the product and here you can actually edit how your product would look like so say for example you just need to have a default color or select a default color as for me i would like to have this one and click on apply changes so here i just need to edit and resize the picture of our um, photo so i'm just gonna scale the image and then afterwards i'm gonna reposition it and there you have it let's apply the changes and once you've applied the changes as you can see it will scale the image now let's disable some products so to disable some products you just need to click on the enabled button and basically it will disable and vice versa all right let's disable these products okay now once done um, disabling the products what you're going to do next is you're simply going to go to this corner right here and you just need to select up to two media so say for example uh, we're gonna have design and illustration and digital art now here in your default product in your shop you just need to optimize and then is this a mature content of course not and then 
you just need to tick on this box and save your work. After saving your work, you just need to wait for it to process. And there. Now, basically, it will route you to your dashboard section afterwards. And here, you can see the products that are available on your shop. So, you can actually view this one. Let's take a look at the view section. And in here, you can share your link basically so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy the link later on so now let's move on to our pinterest so here in pinterest you just need to make sure that you're in the business hub and not in your personal hub so here we are going to simply create a pin and to do that you just need to go to the upper left hand corner and click on create and then you're going to create a pin right here so you just need to drag and drop the files or you can actually create pins from a url so what we are going to do first is we are going to simply copy the url of our redbubble um, page or shop and afterwards we're gonna make use of that later on okay now let's create the pin and in here we are going to simply input or download the image of our um, artwork from redbubble all right now let's add our pin title so here i'm just gonna input um a very you know title that's familiar to the audience like for example digital art and then you're just gonna choose a board after that you are going to uh, tag the topics so say for example we are gonna have like two topics right here so I tried searching for red bubble however it's not showing up so let's input a different tag which is digital art illustration or digital illustration and then after that I'm gonna add another tag and let's have um say for example women empowerment okay so there okay now once we have added our tag you just need to allow or enable people to comment on your pin and publish immediately or you could also publish it at a later time now you could also add the details of your um artwork basically or, or of your pin so you can add notes right here so in my notes i just simply inputted the um, shop url of my redbubble account now here in the advanced section you can actually optimize your shopping recommendations and enable it so you can show similar products basically here i have disabled your my shopping recommendations so we can edit that one in our profile settings and basically i have created my pin right here so let's just wait for it and then there so let's go to our pin and there so the good thing about here is that we can see the impressions the pin clicks and the saves how many people have saved our artwork right there and basically in order for us to reach more people what we can do is that we can actually simply um, here in this section you can actually add a private note okay to a specific commenter and what I can do is that I will also edit my pin and in the title section I will add my shop url right here so that more people would be able to um go to my shop okay because the note section in the pin is not shown basically so we need it to be more vi visualized in our pinterest account okay now what we are going to do next is that um i'm gonna show you here in the analytics section the audience insights 
what's good about Pinterest is that here in the audience insights, you can actually see the demographics of the people watching your pin or who are interested in your pin. So say for example, you can see the age group, the gender, the device, and the location of those people. Okay, and then um, here in the trend section of your analytics, you can actually see the current trends of the month and you can actually get you know inspirations from the trends basically and you can make artworks from that one and post it on your redbubble and create a new pin in order for you to promote on your pinterest account again and basically that's about it for today's video thank you so much for watching and hope you find this video helpful